What's good, everyone? It's now been over a year since Battlefield 2042 released and about a year since I last played it. Pretty much anyone who knows anything about gaming heard about the launch of this game and just how disappointing it was. Terrible performance, riddled with bugs, minimal content. Battlefield 2042 was a failure pretty much right out the gate. I myself, being a big fan of Battlefield, regularly making content around the franchise was particularly disappointed. After only a couple months, I put the game down entirely and uninstalled it, thinking that I would never return to this game again. But but now that it's been a year since I last played the game, the developers have had a lot of time to fix a lot of the issues, so let's see if they have. But before we get into the video, I'd like to make an announcement. Over the past year and a half, I've been going full steam on YouTube, doing nothing every day but making content and then working my day job. Although I got monetized back in April of 2022, the money that I make from ad revenue is close to nothing. Anyone who makes YouTube videos knows how bad it is right now, especially for gaming content with, you know, violence in it. Due to the situation, I have decided to make a Patreon in an attempt to support myself more, allowing me to spend more time on YouTube videos. I've had my Patreon for a while now, I just haven't shouted it out in the video. So if you feel inclined to help me out at all, I would greatly appreciate it. The link to my Patreon is in the description. Right, let's get back into the video. So in this video, I want to break down how this game has changed, what I enjoy about the game now, and what problems the game still has, so you can all make up your minds as to whether this game is still worth playing. In the making of this video, I played the game for a few days to kind of get a feel for how things have changed. So let's go ahead and start with how things have improved. First thing is the content. When this game first launched, it was lacking heavily in maps, game modes, and weapons. It felt like an alpha build of the game that paid little to no attention to content and only barely felt passable as a game that should be opened up to the public. But since launch, it seems like they've done a decent job adding some more stuff into the game. For example, they added all of the Battlefield 3 weapons from Portal into the main game. I'm not sure why they didn't do this originally, but at least the game did it at some point, I guess. Also, a lot of the Battlefield 3 maps are available in the main game as well when you play the Rush game mode, which is pretty cool. I I liked a lot of the Battlefield 3 maps. I also like the variety and game modes they have now. I was never a huge Conquest fan, which is kind of what Battlefield is known for, unless it's on a small map like Metro or Locker on Battlefield 4. So being able to hop back and forth between Breakthrough and Rush is quite nice. It seems like they've added in a few new maps into the game as well. I'm not sure how new a lot of these maps are, but there's definitely way more maps than there used to be. The Battle Pass seems all right. I've never really cared that much about skins in any game that I've ever played. It took me almost a thousand hours of gameplay in CSGO before before I bought my first skin in that game, which was only like $3 too. But if you like that sort of thing, they seem to have some pretty decent content there. And overall, the game is still pretty fun to play. When things are going well, especially if you're a good player, you can still get these crazy clips, these crazy feeds, get really crazy high kill games. The game can still be a lot of fun to play, but there are still a lot of downsides to this game as well. Let's go ahead and get into those. Now, it's not like they've added anything into the game that has negatively affected it. It's more like they haven't gotten rid of a lot of the issues. The only problem that I don't really remember having is constantly joining into ongoing matches. This mostly only happened to me when I tried to play Rush a couple times on Breakthrough, but mostly Rush. I'm not joking, after several days of playing and like 20 plus matches of Rush, I think I only joined one Rush match at the very beginning. Every match that I joined was always in progress. I'm not even sure how this is possible. It seems like it's probably some type of glitch or something, as if in some way my profile was incapable of joining at the beginning of a match. This was particularly more frustrating in Rush because Rush matches can end pretty quickly compared to like Breakthrough. The attacking team only has 100 tickets, so joining mid-match can sometimes mean only a couple minutes of gameplay or actually in one case, zero seconds of gameplay. Again though, a lot of the problems this game has have been around since launch. The most notable one probably being performance. Now I don't have the best setup in the world, here are my specs right here, but it's good enough to play pretty much every modern FPS at around 1 to 200 FPS. But even on the lowest settings possible, my performance was pretty miserable in Battlefield 2042. As someone who prides themselves at being good at FPS games, trying to play well on extremely low frames is very frustrating. Your mouse movements feel delayed, and I'm pretty sure there's also still some sort of mouse smoothing that's forced on you. Even though there's an option to turn it off in the settings with a raw mouse input, something still feels kind of off, and I've heard other people say this as well. There's also still a lot of issues with bullet registration and desync. That's probably one of the most memorable issues from the launch of the game, which is unfortunately still there. Albeit, it's not nearly as bad as it used to be, but it's still an issue that makes the experience that much more frustrating. 
That being said though, I do feel like the performance is more of an issue for players like me who enjoy doing well, but the casual player might not care as much about this issue. Also, vehicles are still extremely overpowered. I mean, it is a Battlefield game. They're always overpowered in Battlefield, but you also have like the bolt, which adds this extra layer of annoying to the overall experience. In Breakthrough, they'll often sit at the edge of their spawn, sniping down onto objectives with laser accuracy. All they have to do is turn the vehicle around so you can't see the people inside to shoot them. And if they get hit by a rocket, they just simply drive a few feet back away into safety, repair, then come back again. You'll usually see someone in pretty much every lobby going like 60 and 0 when they do this, but this isn't really anything new. I'm just saying it's still annoying for me and a lot of people to this day. The game also still has a lot of quality of life issues, a lot of really small things like not being able to zoom in on the spawn map, which makes it difficult to select a very specific spawn when multiple spawns are overlapping each other. The UI can be a bit wonky at times, which again isn't really a huge issue, but it's the accumulation of all of these issues that makes the overall experience rather frustrating. There's a lot of other small things that I'm not remembering right now, like glitches and whatnot. I rarely get really, really mad at games nowadays where I'm like cussing at my screen, but I would say about 50% of the time that I'm playing Battlefield 2042, I am. Again, there are still moments in this game where it can be a lot of fun. While playing this game for a few days, I had some incredible flanks that you've probably already seen by now, some incredible spray downs, and some overall really good games. I think at the base, this game still has a lot of potential. Even this long after the launch, I still think there's some potential there. It's just the overall experience is mostly frustrating. I find myself getting angry at things that don't normally bother me in most games, like, you know, bad teammates and that sort of thing. I even had this one teammate that was throwing for whatever reason. He was a squad leader and you can't change squads in Battlefield 2042, so I was just kind of stuck with this guy. He was doing things like driving vehicles off of cliffs while there's people inside of him, driving vehicles out of bounds with people inside of him, standing over you and not reviving you when he could. I'm not sure why he was doing this. Normally it wouldn't really frustrate me that much, but it made me really mad when I was playing this game, which goes to show your overall mood when you're playing Battlefield 2042. Most of the time, you're just frustrated. Overall, I don't really know what to think about this game now. I love it and I hate it at the same time. Uh, ever since I first played it, I knew it needed more time, but apparently they haven't really done much over the past year. I think I still might play this game from time to time. I do want to check out Portal Mode again. I might even make more content on that, but this will by no means be my main game. That's pretty much all that I wanted to say today. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and maybe even consider subscribing. And I will see you all in the next one. Oh, it crashed.